know, never really turned down a fight, always want the biggest possible fights. But the thing that fascinates me about this fight more than anything is how confident each of you are that you win this fight. You don't seem to have any fear going into this fight, 100% convinced in your mind that you will be victorious on November 30th. Do you know what I think it is? And it's probably the same for Galau. I feel like we both chase competition. We've both spent the last 10 years, decade, the best part of it, if not anyway, going around the world and facing the best challenges or trying to. Um, I don't fear losing. I don't feel, I don't fear the harm another person, especially not someone my size, can do to my body. I think I like the challenges, so it's never, it's never about oh, this fight or that fight. It's pretty much, Eddie, what fight do you want? Because you should want the biggest fight because you're not in the business of promoting small fights. So I don't really care or am I never going to be scared against anyone that weighs 112 pounds, I'll be real, uh, Eddie. And Galau is probably one of the best in the world and he has been uh, for a few years now, especially in uh, the amateurs and the Olympic setup, and he's shown that he took to the pro game like uh, a duck to water. And yeah, he's done everything asked of him. Um, I know that there's some people maybe asking, questioning whether this is too soon or, or, or wondering why the fight's happening. Look, I was always ready for this fight. For me, it was always inevitable. Yeah, maybe I thought it'd probably take a little bit longer, but we've got the fight now. Um, I'm happy for it, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Why do you beat Galaria Five? I know you. you I mean, you're a great pundit on the zone. You know the game inside out. I know you won't give away the game plan, but but what areas are you better? Why are you winning this fight in November? Um, the same reasons I pretty much beat everyone else. I think I, my footwork, my IQ, my decision making, my engine, my activity during the rounds. I'm very hard to to win rounds against, um, and. Yeah, Galau's, like I said, and like I'll keep giving him. He, he is a fantastic fighter, a great operator, and for me, I think the best thing about this fight is it's going to give the fans, again, something to watch back. And I think the only time that's really happened so far in my career is when I lost against Bam, so I'm trying to have that fight worth watching back that I win. I mean, I can always box and I can always move, but it doesn't really make the best spectacle. But against Galau, we just get in there and we just start having it out straight away, pretty much. We're never too far away from each other, one step, one, one two steps at a time. So, yeah, I'm just looking forward to a, a, a great all British fight, former world champion versus former Olympic gold medalist. Um, the Edwards Yafai names have been partnered for, for years before me, even, uh, and Galau, even. And, um, yeah, if you look at any fly, super fly weight, accolade or achievement over the last five, ten years of British boxing, it's come from an Edwards or a so the names have been together and it's about now seeing what names that little bit further in front. Seems to be that respect between you two, seen a little bit of backwards and forwards between the brothers, you know, all part of the game or is that just Sonny Edwards on social media? No, I'll be wrong, I, I, I really like the love. I mean, we've spent a lot of time sparring, we've spent a lot of time on GB together, um, and even when it's kind of like your rival because he's getting picked for stuff um, over and whatnot, um, and even when all the families got dragged in, but it's not really about that. I mean, okay, yeah, um, Cal have always had a, a good relationship. I know Gamal said a few things on social media, whether he's trying to get in my head, sell the fight, or just let me know he don't like me. It doesn't really matter to me, to be honest. This fight is between me and Galal. It's representing the Edwards name and the Yafai name, and I think it's a great fight for Birmingham, and I think it's a, a, a massive card in this uh, part of the world, and there's some fantastic fighters all up and down this card. Um, yeah, it's what British boxing should be, I think. At the moment, we've been getting nicked of the big fights. I'll be wrong, I think they've just been escaping somewhere we can go an hour or two, maybe get a hotel and watch it. So. The fact that I can be a part of bringing British boxing and, and meanwhile, uh, worthwhile, sorry, fights to Britain, then I will keep trying to do so. And I don't see no other British fighter out there uh, in or around my weight divisions that will bring uh, as much to the fight as Galau will. So, yeah, this is the fight. Galau, fresh off. Fresh off victory on Saturday. It was a 
a horrible one that we had to endure, but we know it was a necessary one with the inactivity to get out. It's kind of like the moment has come. You know, although you've had 10, sorry, eight, 10 round fights, this is a massive step up for you, but one that you feel is time for. Yeah, I know there's a few complaints about me fighting on Saturday, um, but it's something I had to do. I'm selfish. I've got to be the best guy if I want to go into fight something, and uh, I'll make sure I'm the best. And like I said before, he wants to win, I want to win, and there'll be one win and a night, but the certain winners will be the fans, so I'm looking forward to putting on the show. I remember we started talking to about this fight maybe like three or four fights ago, you know, just started to get mentioned across social media. And you've always told me that you want the fight as a fight that you're very confident about winning. The same question to you that I asked Sonny. Why do you beat Sonny Edwards on November 30th? I wish you knew the answer, I'd be Houdini then. Um, but I'll show everyone for November. Obviously, he's got his game plan. I've got mine. Um, but if anyone is in the spots, they know it's a proper fight. It's not a bullshit fight. It's, I know we're flyweights and we're small and people don't care as much about our weights, but this is a proper fight and I ain't coming to die down and just take the money and just live off that. I'm coming to do what I gotta do and I'm sure he is as well. Talk about those spars. There's so much in the build up to Joshua Dubois and stuff like that. How much do you take from those spars? And in your opinion, who got the better of those spars? I got the, no, I'm joking. Um, you know what, it was good spars. Um, 50-50 spars, like, I'm gonna sit here and bullshit and say, ah, oh, beat him up and I'm like, no. They were good spars, competitive. Um, listen, Sonny's stubborn, I'm stubborn. That's what's gonna make a good fight. You think, I'll, you think I'm gonna allow Sonny to come to Burma and just run rings around me? Um, and you think he's gonna let me just pressure him and beat him up? It ain't gonna happen. Um, both going to do what we can to win and I'll show you one November. We know you're pretty quiet and you're not one for, Just a little bit. for the beef and, and the build ups, but see a little bit of springing your step for this one because it's, it's the first big challenge, isn't it? And you know, I know there's respect, but let's be honest, there is rivalry as well. There's always been rivalry between you two, and, and this is important personally, but very important for your career at world level. Yeah, I'm always quiet because the other guys I fight don't speak English. Um, <laughs> but, um, now with Sonny, people don't really know. We fought nearly 10 years ago. So this has been bubbling for years and years. And he went on to win the World Toll. I went on to win Olympic gold. Um, we both did our bit in the bargain. Um, and now we're here now at Crossroads. Um, so trust me, I do not want to lose to, to Sonny Edwards. And he doesn't want to lose to Goliath. Well, thank you. Tremendous fight. We're going to go to the floor now. We've got some questions from the media with the microphone at the back. Yes, Joe. Yeah, Sonny, um, you've kind of questioned the decision for Galau to go to the Olympic qualifiers. And as you sit here, former world champion, do you feel like you could have been sitting here, former world champion and Olympic gold medalist? And does that give you that extra bit of motivation for November 30th? I think my question was never whether Galau was good enough or should enough or should enough, uh, to be honest. I think my question was more at the system. I mean, the same person who was not only training his, his brother, but making the decisions of who got to get sent where and when at the, um, during the Olympics and, and to the qualifiers and whatnot is also the same person that's negotiating with Eddie Hearn about this fight and is also the same person that's going to be in the ring on fight night and they're still training at the same gym that was lottery funded and provided for you know by sports aid and everything else etc for me it just seems like the, the game is a bit skewed why have I got to walk into a system where there's already connections above my head and fast forward eight years I'm still battling that same setup and they're still using taxpayers, lottery funded money to, to, to run their gym and to, to pay the wages of the physios and the, the, the analysts and the nutritionists and the second cornerman and the flats that they stay in over the world. I, to me it just stinks a little bit that one man has been given this grace that he can decide who's the Olympians and then also sign them and train them at the same gym. To me that just seems a bit crazy. 
to be honest. It's and justified on an Olympic gold. Justified. Yeah, for you, of course it is justified for you. You want Olympic gold, of course it is. But I mean, the fact that, you know, that person making those decisions trains you still and manages you now to this day and at the time was training your big brother in the professional ring. Um, it just, you know, like, come on, Gila, I know the irony is not lost on you. Like, you can't say that there is no advantage or no disadvantage from, from having that person also being able to decide you know, because my gripe was, in two consecutive years, me and Harvey Horn had both beaten Galau, and then within six months, he was by far and away the number one by opportunities. Me and Harvey hadn't been getting sent nowhere, so, like I said, it was like an old powers act, uh, uh, and faces fitted, so obviously it's not personal towards me or anyone around me, but these are just my personal gripes that I've had to sit with for 10 years. It didn't start with GB, it just finished there. It started on England, but you know, when the decisions are getting made by a few humans in a room with their own agendas and with their own wants and their own relationships and their own friendships, that the person that picked the person to go in front of me all those years ago, who I'd beaten within the calendar month and is now still doing his corner and they're still training at the same gym, that was all paid for by lottery tickets and taxpayer money. I, I just don't think it sits right with me, but I'm just a boxer, so who, who, who cares what I think? Next question. <laughs> yes. Good afternoon. I've got a question. It's asked from October Red for Troy Jones. Shout out to the BCB crew that are here this afternoon. Indeed. Yeah, Matt Troom Show, and uh, I won't let anyone down watching me. That's a promise. Go on, Troy. Go on. Go on. No question, Gus. Um, question for me, I'd like to ask Cal how Sonny, how Galau actually beat Sonny because we were supposed to be sitting up on the press conference today you've paid for me to come all the way here to promote this fight and you're sitting down there so I just wondered how you think Galau should go about beating Sonny on fight night Question for Cal? Cal, yeah Cal. Well, Cal. How, does, how does Galau beat Sonny? You'll find out Short and sweet? That. You'll find out on November 30th. And just one last thing, I'm on the way here, I left my daughter to come here as well. I've passed through duty free and I, um, I got you a little present for all the time. Oh, great time. For my, um, for my... Brilliant, Charlie. My big brother, you know. Shout out, Charlie. <laughs> it's not too late to get them on the undercard and squeeze them on. Yes, Oscar. Um, a question for both Galau and Sonny, open table. Who has more dislike for the other? I like Galau, so I, 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 I actually think Galau is one of the most balanced and... Cheers, mate. No, no, no serious, like, without sucking your dick, it's just... He's, uh, nah, he's, he's a genuine person. Like, he's, 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 he's genuine and like, we, we've had conversations about this fight after pretty much every single scar that we've had. Like, this was always coming, we was always excited for it. Cal, Gamal, Galau, they were a good fighting family. Let's be real, okay, no things get said back and forth, but the only reasons why the Edwardses are keep getting back to the Yaffa is because we're all good fighters, and we've all done everything that's asked of us, and yeah, 30th of November, it's all in the light for, for the two families, and I'm excited. Galau, what do you think of son? I think he's a white now, he's a, you know what, um, I, I've got an uncle Sonny for years, um, we, you know he's with sporting rivals, um, they had the old meme after they hate each other, um, always got to be, you know, us fighting and swearing and whatnot, um, we prove what we've got to prove in the ring, um, and that's it. Come out, what do you think of Sonny? <laughs> Relax, go <girl>. on. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions, guys? Yes. Uh, yeah. Question for Galau, and I guess for, for both really, but um, starting off with Galau, you mentioned the sparring there, you mentioned obviously the amateur fights, and for those fights there were sort of, I guess, not many people watching, you know, 10 people at most watching them spar, to now, sort of, when you look behind you, you've got Edwards, FI, Birmingham, um, as especially as a fly with main event as well, how special is that that you've sort of transformed it from the sparring to the amateur fight to now earning big money in, in a main event slot? Yeah, it's, it's, you know what, it's great, and you never really know what's going to happen in the future when we first met, what? in the ring nine, ten years ago. We never would have thought we'd be here now. Um, but like I said earlier in a few of the interviews, 
Sonny's done his bit of the bargain. He's became world champion. He's made himself a name. He's made himself relevant. And I've done my bit as well. Um, you know, I became an Olympic champion. So I can only thank him for making this a big fight too. Um, hopefully it's a, it's a good fight for me. Not him. Right guys, I think we're done. The interim WBC Flyweight World Championship on the line. The winner will go on to fight for the WBC title. It's must win a domestic classic. Sonny Edwards against Galawia Fine. A huge night of boxing from Birmingham. Still some championship fights to announce. Big pre-sale yesterday. Official general sale tomorrow. Get your tickets. We know that these guys are going to be selling a huge amount of tickets for the show. But everybody watching, get yourself to a true British classic. November 30th, we're going to face off the guys. Thank you for attending tonight. We'll see you soon. Thank you.